The problem with popular telescope lists. In this video, we're going to look at the top five telescopes available on the market today. We made this list based on our own opinion, research, and customer reviews. We've considered their quality, features, and values when narrowing down the best choices possible. Now, as an enthusiastic astrophotographer, I'm often asked for advice on what telescopes are best for astrophotography. Now, astrophotography covers a wide range of subjects from our moon and planets in our solar system to deep sky objects such as galaxies, globular clusters and nebulae. Now, I've been into astrophotography for many years now, sharing videos and blogs about my personal opinions and experiences, and I've been uh, posting that on my YouTube channel and my website. Now, of course, I'm not alone. The internet is full of telescope reviews, top 10 lists of telescopes, and also intense debates among astrophotographers on different online astrophotography fora. Um, in addition, with all the sponsored videos, promotions from vendors, and micro-marketing by influencers, it can be very hard to understand or to know which telescopes are actually popular across the astrophotography community. The fifth product on our list is the Celestron Astromaster 130EQ. If you're new to stargazing and astronomy in general, you need a device that is straightforward to use and allows crisp images without a lot of faffing about. Recently, I read an incredibly inspiring statement, also a very simple statement, uh, made by two astrophotographers that really resonated with me. And the statement goes, the best telescope is the one you use most often. <laughs> I think that's a great piece of advice. Now, if you buy a telescope but don't end up using it, then probably that is not the best telescope for you. I love also how this statement speaks to behavior. There may be a lot to, to like about a telescope and that's often discussed, but if it's not used in reality, then something is wrong with it. It could be too bulky, a telescope could be too difficult to collimate, or it could have poor optics. Could be anything. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that a telescope may look good on paper or maybe get a lot of hype in the astrophotography community, but if it's not used often, in reality, then it's probably not that great of a scope. And I wanted to clarify that I'm talking specifically about telescopes for astrophotography. So I'm not talking about telescopes used for visual observations. Now, all in all, I think that statement is an important reminder that the telescope that works best for you is the one you probably use most often. Up next in fourth place is the Orion Space Probe 130 ST. This striking unit is an excellent telescope that is well suited for beginners or intermediate stargazers. So I want us to take a closer look at the popular telescopes uh, that were actually used in, in reality, in real life, among the amazing astrophotographers out there. So it would be impossible to ask every single person out there for their personal opinion on the matter. So I decided to do some research on popular online fora and websites where astrophotographers actually post their astrophotography photos and chat about the hobby. And I was really interested in two things in particular. First, what type of telescope do people actually own? And how many pictures they have posted online using that telescope? And I used a couple of criteria to ensure reliability in my data, in my research. So first, I included only people who had posted at least one picture. Now, secondly, I excluded guide scopes as they are used for guiding and not for imaging. And I also excluded photo lenses. And lastly, I only included telescopes when I could identify at least 30 astrophotographers who had the same one, who used the same telescope. And this is similar to taking a picture of the night sky. If you take just one picture, uh, you probably end up with a lot of noise in your picture, but if you take 30 long exposure pictures of a deep sky object and you stack them, you will get a much clearer image with a higher signal to noise ratio. And I think the same applies to evaluating telescopes. If I can get data on the usage of a particular telescope from at least 30 people, maybe even a hundred or a thousand people, then that data on that telescope is probably more reliable than just one person's opinion. Up next in fourth place is the Orion Space Probe 130 ST. This striking unit is an excellent telescope that is well suited for beginners or intermediate stargazers. I've been working on creating a data set. So in November 2022, 
Now, I was delighted to have identified about 8,090 astrophotographers, so about 8,000 users who had collectively shared an incredible 78,645 astrophotography pictures using 76 different types of telescopes across the most popular online astrophotography platform. So think about astrobin.com, cloudynights.com, stargazelounge.com and so on. Now, Importantly, the data is completely anonymous. So I did not store any personal data, not a username or a handle. I only stored the type of telescope uh, people own and just the number of pictures shared online with that telescope by astrophotographers. So my lowest group, it was 34 people using the Takahashi FSQ 106N to 996 uh, people who actually uh, bought and posted at least one picture online with the William Optics Red Cat 51 uh, with an average of about 105 uses per telescope. Now the number of pictures shared with a telescope ranged from 174 with a plane wave CDK 17 to 6930 uh, with the Celestron Edge HD 8 inch. Now, additionally, I also calculated an extra indicator I call the image ratio for each telescope. This is the average number of pictures taken with a particular telescope divided by the total number of telescope users I could identify. So the image ratio ranged, for instance, from 4.4 with the plane wave CDK 70, 17, I have to say, to 30.1 with the Celestron Edge HD 14 inch. And to top it off, I also created an overall popularity score by averaging the ranking scores across three categories. So you can look at the total number of users or astrophotographers who bought a particular telescope. So that's one. You can also look at the total number of pictures taken with that telescope and shared online. So that's two. And you can also take a look at the image ratio of a telescope. Are you excited to see what telescopes are most loved among the astrophotography community? The third product on our list is the Orion Starblast 6i. If you're searching for something with a little more capability that still retains portability, then this Orion Starblast may be for you. Let's first look at telescope with the highest number of users. So in this first table, we clearly see that the William Optics Red Cat 51 is the most popular telescope with a whopping 996 users, followed by the Celestron Edge HD 8 inch. Uh, I could identify 631 users uh, using that telescope and the Skywatcher Esprit 100ED with 430 users. Now, if we look further down the top 10 list, it's completed by the Celestron Reza 8 inch, the Celestron Edge HD 9, 9 quarter inch. Uh, we also see three William Optics telescopes, two Zenith stars, the 61 and the 73 millimeter Zenith stars, and the Gran Turismo 81. The top 10 is concluded with the AstroTech 8072ED. Now, looking at these number of users, of course, only tells half the story. If we look at the next table, we see that the Celestron Edge HD 8 inch, the William Optics Red Cat, and the Skywatcher Esprit 100 ED also have been the most popular telescopes for astrophotographers when looking at these number of uh, shared images online. Edge HD uh, users shared total numbers of 6,930 pictures. William Optics Red Cat users shared a total of 5,957 pictures online and uh, the Skywatcher Pre 100 ED that group of users shared a total number of 4,886 images online. Now this you can also see that the entire Celestron Edge HD series is in the top 10 so also the 14 inch the four uh, the, the 11 inch the nine and a quarter inch series we see them here along with the Celestron Row Ackerman Smith Astrograph so the Ressa 8 inch uh, sharing 2070 2,733 pictures online and the 11 inch telescope uh, sharing 1,859 pictures. We see also, interestingly, that the Celestral Next Star 8SE and the Astrotech 8072ED are also in this top 10. And with this in mind, I actually created an overall graph illustrating correlation between the number of users and the number of images taken per telescope. And that actually confirmed my expected relationship. So it's quite simple. The more people that own a specific telescope, uh, the more images are shared online. So you can clearly see that in the graph here so i think a, th a third indicator which i called the image ratio 
is extremely beneficial to look at. So let's take a look at the image ratio table here. And this table clearly show that the Celestron shows that the Celestron Edge HD 14 inch stands out as the most popular telescope among astrophotographers based on the average image ratio. So I can explain it like this. On average, the 93 users of this telescope shared an impressive 30 pictures online. And on second place, interestingly, we now see the GSO 8 inch F5 Newtonian telescope. Uh, with an average of almost 20 pictures per user. Now the third place is taken by the Takahashi uh, 130 apochromatic refractor telescope. I could identify 47 users, but those users shared an average of 18.8, so almost 19 pictures uh, using that telescope online. Now, further down the top 10 list, we can find two more Celestron Edge HD models, so the 11 inch and the 9 and a quarter inch, and the Nexstar 8SE, the RASA 11 inch, and the Telescope Optics uh, Photoline 18 mm f6 apochromatic refractor. We also see a 130 mm apochromatic refractor, a triplet refractor from Astrotech, and the list is concluded with the 8 inch Richie Chrétien from Astrotech. Now, I think it's very interesting to also look at the image ratio because the top three most popular telescopes in terms of number of users and shared images uh, is not necessarily the same as the telescopes that have actually the highest image ratio. So the final popularity score is based on the ranked average of the scores that I have already discussed, being A, the number of astrophotographers who bought a particular telescope, B, the total number of pictures shared online using that telescope and C, the image ratio per telescope. So here it is. The second product on our list is the Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT. And the first thing that stands out is that Celestron, the Celestron telescopes, they absolutely dominate the top 10 rankings in terms of overall popularity. Rest assured, I have no affiliation whatsoever with that company. Actually, I would encourage you to verify my statistics. You can easily verify these statistics uh, yourself. Looking at that list, uh, the top spot is taken by the Celestron Edge HD uh, 11 inch. And that's then the combination of 272 users who shared a total number of 4,447 images and uh, having an imp uh, impressive average image ratio of 16.3% per user. So that's the way I looked at this in terms of calculating the final score. So following closely behind in second place is the Edge HD 9 and a quarter inch. And we see then a three-way tie for th third place uh, with the Skywatcher Esprit 100 ED, the Celestron Edge HD 8 inch and the Celestron Nexstar 8 SE, interestingly, all scoring the same overall popularity rating. You can see that there are some differences in the number of users, the number of shared images, and also the image ratio. So for instance, uh, the Edge HD boasts a higher number of users, 631, and a higher number of shared images, 6930, as compared to the other two, but it has a lower image ratio of 11. So that's why it's a three-way tie. Now, surprisingly, the Nexstar SE, uh, with it, which is often sold with an altitude azimuth mount and an optional wedge, it also ties in third place, Interesting to see. And wrapping up the top 10 are the 14-inch Celestron Edge HD telescope and also the RASA. So the Rowe Ackerman Smith Astrograph 11-inch and 8-inch are also in the top 10. And again, this Astrotech AT72ED apochromatic refractor and the Takahashi uh, Epsilon 130D. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out the description below for the newest deals on each of these items. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the best products on the market.